All right, today we are going to be drawing a coffee shop. Now, um, while we're drawing it, if you decide that you want to draw something other than a coffee shop, you are more than welcome to turn it into anything that you would like, possibly a flower shop or, um, I don't know, anything. Be creative. Uh, this one's a little bit more complicated, so uh, I'm going to start off by using a uh, pencil and then going over the lines when it is okay to go over them with uh, my marker. So we're going to start off by making that rectangle. This one's going to be almost all the way up to the top and then almost all the way down to the bottom. And once again, you're going to make that line, but it does not have to be perfect. I'm going to draw a little bit darker than um, what I'll have you draw just because I know what I'm drawing. So uh, it might be a little bit easier for me to erase. But you can draw pretty lightly because especially if you're going to go over it with a pen. And then also leave just a little bit of room at the top there. Don't slide it all the way to the top of your paper. We have a couple of things on the rooftop of that. And then the next lines are going to be kind of right inside of the ones you just made. And then this coffee shop is going to have three stories to it. So the bottom one's going to be our actual coffee shop. But then above it, there's going to be two places where you'll be able to see different um, living quarters. So hopefully you can see my lines here. And then right below those, you're going to draw another one. Just runs parallel with it. This one's going to have three above it. Keeping in mind, it does not have to be perfectly straight across. And then you're going to put four windows they're arched windows, um, but they're not going to go. They're not going to fill in the entire space. So, just draw lightly. I'm actually going to make them a little bit smaller there. Leave a little bit of more room in the middle. And then you're going to draw three lines that go horizontal. And then we're going to draw little squares running across the top. The architect. And then you're going to take these and there's going to be a horizontal line going kind of across. Just kind of keep your pencil going. And then there's a line going on the running along the inside of this kind of half oval shape here.
We're gonna make a couple diagonal lines just right above those three diagonals. And we can make a square side of there and then also a diagonal going right underneath of it. And two more. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the second level here. You're gonna have those shapes, those half oval shapes, same as the top level. You're gonna have a line going horizontal and then that inside half oval shape. And then at the top of that half oval shape, you're gonna make a line that goes horizontal. And then another line kind of below that, these are gonna be the shades. We're gonna draw a line down the middle first. And then you'll have your lines going horizontal. And then on the top ones, so on on these, inside of these, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see me do one. You're going to make your vertical lines, maybe two or three, however you're feeling. And you're gonna do those diagonal lines that go opposite. So however many lines you feel like you can fit. They're just going opposite. Maybe you fit three on the last one. Okay, you're gonna do the same for those top ones. So you're gonna have that little bit of line there. And then on the top one, you want to kind of make um, what well, looks like somebody living up there. So um, in the windows, you want to put what you might see. So here, you're going to have your line in the middle still. 
for the window. And then after that, you can put like a little, maybe like a little lamp. I'll zoom in here so you can see me do this. Maybe you wanna put a lamp. Uh, maybe you wanna put kind of like the silhouette of a door. Maybe like a picture frame on the wall. And then on this one here, we're going to make it look like it has a little balcony. So we're going to draw a line going all the way over here. And then it's going to come down. And it'll come across here and then attach to this side. But then we got to make some lines where it looks like it's hitting the ground. Draw like little triangles there. So it looks nice and sturdy. And then you're going to make the lines. There. And then in this one, we can make maybe like the side of a couch. Whatever you guys think. And then maybe, maybe that the other side of that picture frame. And then over here, um, before you move on, let's make a little bird sitting here. So that's cute. Okay. And then on these two, we'll have our lines on the top. So later on, you can do this. You can make your diagonal lines. And then we'll have maybe like a, the start of a fireplace. Have a mantle. And you can put like a vase on the mantle. Maybe a picture frame. Okay, and then um, when you guys start putting your details onto this, you can also add um like just random bricks they don't have to you don't have to fill the whole thing in but it might look kind of nice to just have some random bricks showing so that it is so that they you know they can get the idea that it is a brick building okay and then on that same window that has the um, little deck, I guess, if you will, let's put one down here as well. And so we'll just go straight across, just like we did up there. And we'll make it very similar. It's okay that you're just overlapping it because that's what it would look like. Maybe here we have a little cat peeking out. Or dog. 
Okay, and then at the bottom layer, we'll have our coffee shop. So here, what we wanna do is we're gonna make the windows first. And they're gonna set inside of that rectangle. So you're gonna have a window here. And then we can draw our four kind of squares so that it makes it look like a window. And draw a line down. Draw this one really light. We have a car sitting in front that we need to draw still. And we'll draw another line here. This will be where our door is. And then our window that sits here. And this can be our door to go into the coffee shop. And there's a little sign on the window, drive through only. And then we have our window here that maybe has our sign in the window. And make a little mug. Then we have a big window here. Once again, draw these really light because you might want to erase some of these lines pretty soon. I'll zoom in this part. Here we can make our line go down. And then we can make our line go across here. And then we can have maybe a couple of people sitting here. Enjoying a cup of coffee with one another.
There is a little open sign. And maybe the line here, I didn't leave myself very much. I apologize. But there's a sign out front. And then maybe we'll put a guy on the other side. I want to erase that line in there. Let's put some more architectural Sorry, you couldn't see that Just a little, some more details there and then let's put a street lamp. And then to make sure that it's nice and balanced, we can put a tree on this left side. Should be getting pretty good at trees. Now this is part where you could probably use your marker. So it might be a little easier to
And then if you want to add just some other little details, you can. Maybe there's a pot sitting on this corner. With some flowers. Really any other details you want to make. And like I said, you can turn this into any kind of shop that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a coffee shop. And then just adding in those little details like the bricks randomly. And just some details to make it look a little bit more real. And there's your coffee shop. Hope you enjoyed.